Today on Panda Meats, we are going to make a blue milk ice cream. It's pretty simple. It's from Star Wars. If you don't know, go back and watch A New Hope. It's like one of the first things you see when you see Luke Skywalker. We're gonna need a few things. First, you're gonna need a bowl, a, measuring, a couple measuring cups, heavy cream, you know, heavy whipping cream, some really good cream, whole milk, vanilla, some blue food dye, and if you want some flavorings of some kind, make them not too dark. I'm gonna use a little bit of raspberry just for fun. You can also use like a coffee extract or something, the blue will cover it up mostly. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to start with two cups of cream. So that's two cups. I'm just going to add the two cups of milk to make four whole cups. I'm just going to put that in the bowl. Okay. You're going to need three fourths or a half cup of sugar. You decide how sugar you want it. We're just going to go the whole and fourths of a cup. And just toss that in. Two tablespoons of vanilla. You can also use a, a couple of vanilla beans if you want. Doesn't matter. Whatever your preference is, this is what I have on hand. And it's just super easy. Uh, if you do a vanilla bean, be sure to stick it in the blender to make sure everything gets chopped up and perfect into tiny little specks. Start by adding just maybe two drops of the blue, and you can add more if you need to. You don't want the raspberry to be too artificial, so we're just going to put a little bit. Just for fun. You can do this in a hand mixer if you have one, or a KitchenAid, you know, the big stand mixers. Go right ahead, do that. I'm just going to do it by hand. Now I can already see that the blue is really subtle. We're just going to try like two more and see where we are. You don't want it too dark. You definitely don't want it looking green. Great. Easy. Done. Now. Uh, if you have a ice cream maker, an ice cream maker, um, go ahead and get your frozen bowl out of the freezer, get your ice cream maker set up, and we're going to do that. If not, you can go ahead and just pour this into a container, put it in the freezer, check it every few hours, give it a stir, and wait till it comes to the consistency that you like. However, we're going to use ice cream maker. And this part is just super simple. Here is my bowl, my frozen bowl. It's been in the freezer forever. You just have to be sure that you freeze it for 24 hours before you use it if you don't know that. And I'm just going to go ahead and dump a mixture. This one is so easy, you just turn it on. Let it go for a little bit, and uh, when we come back, I'll show you what it looks like. And Anyway, about 20 minutes, just keep an eye on it. It's been about 20 minutes, maybe a little, oh, about 20 minutes. This is at a nice soft serve stage.
this point, if you have any mix-ins that you want to put in this, you know, of course, you can do that and just come in and then just stir it up. And then you could add sprinkles, but note that, you know, candies that you put in it are just gonna not work as well. Like they're, gonna, they're gonna get hard and frozen. And like I tell my daughter all the time, why are you putting honey bears in your ice cream? It's frozen, it's gonna be hard. <laughs> all right, so there you have it. Put your lid on it, stick it in the freezer, and there you go. Um, to once it's done, you can scoop it up and put some sprinkles. I have leftover galaxy sprinkles I used for our space scones a while back, and I've used them in the Thorio bars as well. Um, just something fun. It's just sugar, so it'll look nice and pretty and very galaxy and very cool Star Wars. There you have it. Our blue milk ice cream.